PDF documents can be opened and placed in Photoshop CS5. I've got CS5 open here, but CS4, CS3, exactly the same, PC or Mac. Now I'm just going to go to the file, open. I'm just going to show you the PDF documents here. They're swirl designs from graphicextras.com, but you could be using any other uh, PDF document you can find on the web or ones that you've created. So I'm just going to select one of those. I'm just going to click that one. That's PDF document open and it will come up with an import PDF you can set the size they're vector designs so they can be any size of document so I could put 5,000 there or I could just go for it say a thousand which I'm just going to go for so I'm just going to set a thousand now you can also change the thumbnail size as well fit page you can just see it a bit better there but click OK now, once you've got the document there, you can actually modify the document within there, or you can copy, paste into another document. Also, you can combine documents, all those sorts of things. Now, next thing I'm going to do is the place command. Now, that places it as a smart object layer. So I'm just going to go to place. I'm just going to select the same one of the same designs. Just uh, another selection of designs here. Yeah, select that one. It's again PDF document, vector design. And you can change the thumbnail size click OK import it now it's a layer so you can resize at this point if you wish to make it very small maybe you can create multiple ones so I'm just going to make a very small one there so, so that's that so you can see it's a smart object so it can be changed at any point and so you can just modify it resize it without any effect to the the actual file so I'm just going to resize that again make that smaller it's a layer so you can just go to layer duplicate layer if you want so you can create another one so just two of them of course you can bring other ones in so I could just place another one so I'm just going to quickly select another design you can recolor designs as well so I'm just going to use that one and you can then apply it like layer layer style say a drop shadow or a bevel to the design so you've got shadow there click OK so that's a basic use of PDF files as layers as well as an open document in Photoshop.